Hello everybody, welcome to our Christmas Eve special. I'm your host Valenfor. This little fella here is of course Serenalil, and you find us on the Isle of Queldenas. This is part of the Burning Crusade expansion, and as you may or may not recall, in previous Christmas specials we've been playing with my death knight Banthina, but she is now essentially redundant, mainly because this is our now strongest character. And we are going to be going off to uh, get this dungeon done. This one. And yeah, I may as well just jump in. This was the dungeon where we... Magister's Terrace, exactly. Finally Lord managed to I take down... Um, I may as well just do these quests as well. Yeah, this is the, the dungeon where we Good finally help. managed to take down... Um, I can't remember his name now. But yeah, State him. Your business. Why am I not in stealth? But these things are fairly easy to take down. Look, one-shotting most of them. This should be a doddle. Like that. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to leave most of these groups alone. Although this does suggest I need to take down this one, so that'll do. What exactly did I need to do here? Um, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do the raid dungeon as well that's in this area. I've sold up as much as possible. Oh, it's the priestess underneath us. That's why. But these things just go down. And I thought this might make a nice little starting uh, thing for us to do here. Oh, and I've already slain the boss. That's incredible. How did I do that from down here? Oh, I've got absolutely no problems. I mean, we're doing this on five man normal, to be perfectly honest with you, but I really don't think we're going to run into any issues down here. And, uh, yeah, there are some, uh, what do you call them now, pets that you can get now in these old areas. So it might be fun just to see if we can get a couple of those going. Right, as for you, die. There we go. He's down. And Aliou. Aliou. And I have a quest hand in back here. These are going to be quite a rush job. Uh, and then we'll get into the raid. Boom. Okay. Now I've got to activate the scrying orb. Kelthus Sunstrider, that's his name. This guy. It was where you finally fought off and actually killed him. And I thought this was a, a nice little link to the, um, the expansion we've just finished, Legion. Because this is all to do with the Burning Legion. Uh, this gives you just a little sort of walkthrough of um, the raid. Which, as I say, we're going to try and get done in today's episode as well. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And who knows, we might even get the legendary bow whilst we're down here as well. This is where the legendary bow dropped originally. Yeah, okay, I think we can probably skip that now. Then we have to wait for Caligos, I think it is, to turn up wherever the heck he is now. Where is he? He's supposed to be here. Be still, mortals, and hearken to my words. Yeah, okay, so it's directly linked to that cutscene. So yeah, I thought we'd start with this for today, for Christmas Eve. Uh, we're going to continue along with some other raids, Christmas Day. There is no time to waste. And then uh, the next time you'll see us, must be destroyed. will be on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. I'm not really sure which yet. We may even do two episodes again. Um, take each of those out with a throwing star.
and then I'd get on with some other dungeons. We might do Firelands, uh, smash through the rest of the Burning Crusade dungeons, uh, raids rather. And then uh, we'll just see how we get on. Might even try some Mists of Pandaria raids as well. Well, she's dead. Uh, let me just minimise these three here. There we go. Right. So onwards and upwards then. We're off to take out Kelta Sunstrider. Who will literally go down in one hit, I would have thought. Don't look so smug. I know what you're thinking. But Tempest Keep was merely a setback. And he looks very different from the last time we saw him. future to some... Blind half night elf mongrel. <laughs> oh no, no, no. It was merely an instrument. A stepping stone to a much larger plan. Whenever you're ready, Kelthus. It all led to this. And this time, you will not interfere. Trust me, I will interfere. Because you're dead. Oh, my Turn demise accomplishes nothing! Upside the master will have you! You will drown in your own blood! The world shall burn! No. Ah! You'll just die and be buried. There we go. Fantastic. Let's get these handed in. Good fortune. Low level. And obviously it's just given us toot again. Remain vigilant. But there we go. Okay, well that's the dungeon done. <laughs> nice, simple, easy questing here. And let's head now towards the raid. Now the raid does drop a number of different pets. Um, you'd end up having to do it quite a few times, I think. There's, uh, uh, you know, back in the days of Burning Crusade, so the first expansion to be released, there wasn't really an awful lot in terms of difficulty. It was just... 25 man. So I don't need to do anything with setting the difficulty to something different. Let's head on inside. So we'll also have the likes of the Mount Hyjal boss fight we could try and do. That should be fairly easy, straightforward. I uh, can't remember if we ever did Black Temple on Vanthina, but perhaps we could do Black Temple as well. Get rid of the uh, Burning Crusade raids. I don't need to carve much of a way forwards for myself here. But the first boss is inside. Oops. Yeah, come on in. And I think, obviously, this is a good... Uh, place to start talking about the latest expansion that's been announced Battle for Azeroth so as that you know suggests we are going back to what made WoW great in the beginning in classic the days of classic Horde versus Alliance is the main stay of the next expansion going to be visiting Jaina Proudmoor uh, and the Zandalari tribes what have we got here? Hardened Corium, okay, fine. So that should be fun. There was no real mention of Old Gods particularly, which upsets me, because that was one of the things I was looking forward to most. Hi there! Ooh, and I just got a schematic justice bringer 3000 specs amazing <laughs> now, I'm not going to be overly bothered about looting stuff 
at the present time. And it should be this way. And I can't... Yeah, this boss, Caligos, can't quite recall what I have to do here. I can't remember if I have to kill him or go into a, like a twilighty looking area. No longer will I be a slave to Malagos. Challenge me and you will be destroyed. Okay, so he's been turned into something. I Aha! watch you bleed. No, you won't. You'll just die. There we go. On the losing side. Boom. And I think we just got a pet. I'm forever. No, we did not. Debt. Thought we Once did. We have triumphed over Kill Jaden. This entire world will be in your debt as well. Oh, that's a shame. There is no time to waste. Thought we got a pet. Well, we'll keep on going. So, uh, not only that, what else did uh, Blizzard announce at BlizzCon 2017? It sounds like they are reactivating, or rather re-acquiring, um, the means to have a classic, get this, a classic, World of Warcraft classic, the original, pre-any expansion, um, servers. Hold, friends. There's information to be had before this devil meets his fate. Oh, what are you on about? Let me Where just... is Onvina, demon? What has become of Kalik? Just destroy stuff. And the other thing is, this makes it very difficult for me to talk because, of course, they're talking. So, um, yeah, classic. I, you know, I have no idea whether it's with the classic um, look and feel. I. The talents, the the spells, the way that you get you will tell me where they are. upgrades to your spells through your class uh, trainer, rather than just acquiring them magically. Um, no flying, all of these things, and the original uh, raids themselves. I have no idea how it's going to work, but if uh, people would like to see me play the classic game as it was intended, I grow let me know. Weary of asking. Let me know, because that could be a quite an interesting one to do. Um, excuse me. <coughs> Malagos, oh. my lord, I did my best. Sorry for that. Right, come on, Brutalis. That was fun, but I still await a true challenge. Oh, mate. Come, try your luck. A true challenge. You're just going to die. Like that. But was that a... Yeah. Look. Sunblade Micro Defender. That was a pet. So whilst we're waiting for this one to uh, start up again, let's have a look. What did we just get? Sunblade Micro Defender. Looks a little bit like that. He's kind of cool. So, next up, we have got the dragon to defeat before we're going to get anywhere because these flames will eventually subside, but they won't at the present time. We have a wall up at the moment. Can't recall if this is on the timer. Like, basically, it was a timer to allow you to... Um, Get yourself healed up, mannered up, and in prep for the next boss. So whilst we're waiting for that to happen, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just keep talking. So these are the things that we have to look forward to. Um, I've got a feeling that release day is going to be around, or approximately, ah, uh, there we go, Felmist. To kill Jaden, death to all who oppose. No, no, just die. Where are you going? Where? Wait, come back here. Kill Jaden will prevail. 
No, Kiljaden would die. And we will make sure of it. Okay, well, that's her dead. And we're getting quite a lot of transmoggy stuff. Are you going to let me pass? Dr. Gosa deserved a far better fate. You did what had to be done. But this battle is far from over. Come on, do your magic. Thank you. Right, let's progress here. I'm a one-man killing machine. Yeah, so, I mean, with the old raids and the rogue, I've not really thought how this is going to work, particularly. Uh, what I mean by that is because, of course, with my Death Knight, I have a certain amount of self-healing. And whilst the rogue does have self-healing, I'm relying more on my... Um, What am I relying on here? Oh, my abilities to dodge, of course. Marked for death. Okay, well, you can all die. You can all die. And then let's continue up to the next boss. This is going fairly well. It's not taking us an overly long length of time. Misery, depravity, confusion, hatred, mistrust, chaos. They're dead. These are the hallmarks. These are the pillars. I just have a lovely amount of health here. Health, damage, all sorts. These things really do not stand a chance, do they? Particularly. So. What else are we going to be doing? Like I say, we're going to get through the rest of the Burning Crusade raids. Uh, which direction do I need to be heading here? Probably up this way, I would have thought. Let's just speed up a little bit here. And you may recall that was where we were a little bit earlier, about 10 minutes ago. Have I still got something on me? Yes, I have. Right, there we go. Fantastic. Uh, there's nothing on there. And we have this thing here. Oh gosh, what have I just done? Well, he's dead. Did I get a pet from him? No, I did not. How blooming annoying. But I did add some more stuff to my... Uh, my collection, my appearance collection. This is going a lot quicker than I th first thought that it would. So, consequently, perhaps, once we've finished here... We will go and get maybe another raid done. Maybe Gruul's Lair or um, Magtherodon's Lair. Let's head on inside of here. Get these guys done. I can't really recall what you have to do during this uh, fight. But it might just be that we pretty much one-shot this guy anyway. Because look, here's Kill Jaden. Hi! The Expendable have perished. So be it, the enemy. Uh, let's just do that. There we go, he's dead. Dead and done. Whoa! No, no, you can just disappear. What exactly did we get? Just load of toot. Load of stuff for us to sell on. That's fine. Fine and dandy. Alright, well, that's done. Didn't take us anywhere near as long as I thought it would. Goodbye, Anvina, my love. Few will remember your name. Yet this day you changed the. Yeah, I don't remember her name at all. To be fair, Arlena was it? 
Hey ho. So yeah, um, what were the other raids in Burning Crusade? Let's think. So you had Mctherodon's Lair, you had Gruul's Lair. We also had Tempest Keep, and of course Black Temple. Black Temple is a fairly long one, and I, as I say, I think we did that on Vanthina, so I'm, I don't think I'm going to retread old ground with that one particularly. Then, of course, we have the Wrath of the Lich King raids. We've done all those already on Vanthina as well. Cataclysm, we only did Dragon Soul, but I think we also did, like, the, uh, the one that was set in Throne of... Um, Throne of Four Winds or something, was it? Yeah, I think we did that. Might go do um, Cataclysm Dungeons on Heroic. That could be something worthwhile watching. But failing that, Mists of Pandaria. Do you know what? We, we did the whole of the Mists of Pandaria expansion. I think we did one dungeon. We didn't touch anything else on Mists of Pandaria. Perhaps... You know, perhaps that could be a fun one to do. Do you know what? I think that's what we'll do for New Year's. Mr. Pandaria. That will be a really, really good one to do. Right, now where's the flight point in this horrible city? Never, ever like Shatra. And as you should be aware by now, because I'm, I'm sure I've said it enough times already, the Burning Crusade was one of my least favourite expansions. Coming in it, to it after uh, Classic, you know, I thought, oh, it's going to be great. We're going to see new worlds, do new stuff. Yeah, we got all of that, but it just... I didn't really grasp the storyline, maybe. It wasn't, you know, as free-flowing. I mean, when it came to uh, Wrath of the Lich King, you knew who the enemy was. You knew the reasons for going there. Burning Crusade was just a case of, uh, well, the dark portals reopened and, yeah, we've got to go back to this desolate world and, you know, further along in the course of the game. Oh, yeah, there's this guy called Illidan who you've seen in the opening cinematic but you don't really know what he's doing and, oh, yeah, he's, you know, building this army of uh, demon hunters and blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't until Legion then that you realised that what he was actually doing was he was attempting to save Azeroth from something that he knew was coming. And we had absolutely no idea. And stupidly, we went and destroyed him in Black Temple. Essentially sealing our fate, because if we'd let him just continue, he might have stopped Legion altogether. And that would have been it. You know... Well, I'm sure Legion would still have, you know, appeared, but we may have ended up having a king still. Or King, king Varian, rather, should I say. But I tell you what, I am so hyped for this new expansion. Seen the trailer. Seen uh, the opening cinematic, which is something that they've never really done at BlizzCon. You know, maybe just before an expansion was released did they do that. But never once have they just, you know, openly gone, ah, oh, here's, uh, here's a little bit about what you're going to be doing in the latest expansion, Battle for Azeroth. Oh, and by the way, here's the opening cinematic, and wowee. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you need to go and take a look at it. Have a look um, on YouTube, search for opening cinematic for Battle of Azeroth. You'll see the likes of... Sylvanas and King Vary, uh, not King Varian win, King Anduin win, and uh, it looks like they're fighting over not Stormwind, but Lordaeron. So that's the Undercity, okay? And uh, yeah, all I can say is wow, we absolutely wow, we looks immense. Right, so in order to progress in this raid you needed to take out these warders which we're doing now i'll take them out on that side we'll go on the opposite side take those out as well and then we'll head down into the base now when you were doing uh dungeons i don't think you could hear megtherodon in ramparts but you could hear him in i think it was the blood furnace 
which was the other dungeon. Um, and he was just spewing off stuff like, you'll never be able to hold me! And yeah. So take out each of these guys like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And then we're on to Megtherodon and just... Oh, and I even got a quest. Lovely. Didn't see anything in terms of pets drop off him, though. We did get a sack of gems, which is nice. And look, just got a massive bag of toot again. Lucky doodad. Nice. I do like a nice lucky doodad. I feel so overpowered. Considering this area used to take, like, a lot, a, a lot, a lot. Do you know what I mean? 25 people. Used to be crazy. But anyway, guys, happy uh, Christmas Eve if you're watching it today. If you're not, just hope you've had a very lovely 2017 Christmas. Uh, obviously, I will be posting again on Christmas Day. Look forward to that. And then if you have already seen that and you're waiting for New Year's, I will see you again on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day for more of our festive journey through Azeroth playing with Serenalil this time. But until then, guys, take care and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. And if not, in 2018. See you later and bye bye for now.